Hey, this area is off limits to passengers. Howdy viewers, Brad Prider Barstool Entertainment doing a special challenges video. I previously did a challenge video where I did two challenges back to back and all the links to the challenge videos are in the description below. In this case, I planned ahead and I'm doing three challenges back to back to back. And it's kind of hard to do actually. I had to get the situation just perfect. And if I didn't do the challenges in the right order, well, I could have screwed things up. I ended up doing the bandit number seven, which is steal $50 worth from people. Then I did the weapons expert number two, which is kill three enemies in 10 seconds using throwing knives. And then finally, sharpshooter number seven, which is seven headshots in a row. So let's get on with this back to back to back challenge video. First thing I did was have Arthur camp outside of Emerald Station. And then I had him craft the three big game meats. The minty big game, the oregano big game, and the thyme big game to get his cores up to gold because you want Arthur at his most fit to do this. With that done, Arthur needs to feed and brush his horse and get his horse ready for this event. Eat this. Now, this is three challenges that I'm going to do back to back to back. So, you're talking, I put a save in, of course, and then I didn't want to do a new game here. I want to take a look at progress. And again, these are going to be bandit number seven. And I'm going to steal $50 in stuff from people. Then I'm going to click over to sharpshooter number seven and seven headshots consecutively. That's in a row. And weapons expert where I have to kill three people in 10 seconds using throwing knives only. Now, I'm by Emerald Station, which is important. And I'm going to ride down to Emerald Station and buy a ticket to Riggs Station. And the reason for that is this is the best place, Riggs Station, to actually do anything. Nice to see you again, sir. Pleasant travels. Now, Arthur's going to look a little different than when he bought the ticket because I had to reload a couple times. Like I said, this is difficult. If you don't plan it out correctly, you might as well just say, well, i got to reload because you didn't kill enough people in a row or something happened, you screwed up throwing knives. Anything can go wrong, and including Arthur dying. So, you know, you got to plan this out right. Now, I'm going to put on the mask as soon as Arthur can move, and then I'm going to steal the train. Hey, this area is off limits to passengers. <gasps> now I'm going to drive the train over the rail bridge in Bard's Crossing or Bard's Crossing Rail Bridge because I want to get it into the middle of the bridge. And the reason I want to get it in the middle of the bridge is if you park the train too close to either end, 
the law can kill you or get at you. You want to get this thing positioned correctly. And you want to stop the train completely when the character icon is over the island icon. You want to bring the train to a complete stop. You can try and fight the guards on the train, but to be honest with you, you're better off just abandoning and running away for a little bit. I'm trying to fight these guys, and I realize, why am I doing this? A crime's been reported. The law is approaching. You could get caught, so I'm abandoning. And you want to run to the opposite end. You want to get out of the red bubble on the radar. And once you get out of the red bubble on the radar, Take your mask off. I mean, they already kind of know who you are, but you take the mask off and the bounty will disappear more quickly. Now that the wanted level disappears, Arthur can turn around and run back to the train, fight the guards, and begin his robbing of the passengers. Guards were a little more difficult than I had anticipated, but now I can begin gathering $50 from all the passengers. And it starts with this woman, and I'm going to continue on. I'm going to need everything you got. On. Okay, take it. Okay, I completed that. Now I'm going to just continue robbing the passengers. Pay attention to the cluster of passengers and where they're located and how many. So far, the count is nine. In order to get the um, weapons expert and sharpshooter, I need at least... 10 passengers and you also want to pay attention to how they're clustered because that makes a big difference in the weapons master or weapons expert um how it plays out help okay give me everything you got here it Quick. is here it is it's all here All your money now, and you walk yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, just take it. Give it to me. Yeah, yeah, just take it. Hurry up, or I swear. What have I done to okay. offend you? Stop it. You can have... I counted about 13 people, and these three guys are nicely clustered, so I'm going to use them and take them out with improved throwing knives. Make sure you hit them in the head. From start to finish, it was about nine seconds. Now, what you want to do is loot the bodies, 
and get double the amount of money that you had. And you get your throwing knives back. So this is a win-win-win. You know, I mean, you get more money and get your throwing knives back. Now for the sharpshooter. Seven headshots in a row. Oh, please, God, no! And there you have it. Just loot the bodies, get all the money I can. I think my horse is now in serious need of being revived. Uh, probably got to go back down and get her. But like I said, loot all the dead passengers, get all your money, and then move on in life. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post seven video game related videos a week and you want to stay informed. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for, for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.